how long would it take you to build a game? And I'm going to build one in under two minutes. Okay, all right. So we're going to do it here. Sounds good. Yeah. There's two modes to create a game, simple and advanced. Okay. Simple, you create a game really quickly. We'll make one in two minutes, call it Touch Arcade. Okay. okay. And we'll go to step two. It explains how to draw a player. We'll skip this. And we'll just use a camera. Sounds good. And we'll just take a picture. This is our photo. It gives you a status. Yeah. It's processing. It also explains to you a little bit right. Um, right. what you should be doing. A well-lit area is very important, even though we're going to have a pretty badly one. All right, there we here go. We go. Here's our image. And then we'll go to step four. Describes how to draw an enemy. We'll choose the camera. All right. And actually, we already have a game. In... One minute, 36 seconds. Okay. We can play our game. Touch a cable. And here we go. Very nice. So it scales and uh, it, it rotates the enemy and it's bringing it in at different angles, that exactly. sort of thing. As we're coming in, it actually gets harder and harder. And we have some power-ups. And let's say we want to make a more complicated game. So okay. we actually just click done. Go to step six and create another enemy. Okay. So let's go. This one. All right. And now we have a more complicated game with different size enemies that behave differently coming at us. So it was releasing power-ups, that sort of thing? Releasing random, yeah, and you have an enemy coming at us. And we have a big uh -huh. one coming along, <laughs> trying to shoot us. And actually, if we, there is some strategy to the scoring, if we actually destroy the same type of ship, we get a much bigger uh, points uh, multiplier. Oh, yeah? So we can name it. We can create an intro screen or a title to show at the beginning of the game. Okay. We can I mean, choose our player. So one thing is obviously people with iPod touches, um, they can import images and the, their drawings through the photo library. Right. But that takes you know it takes time and they just sure. got the game they want to play immediately. So we actually have pre-built out packs. Oh, okay. You can pick from. So right now we here we have a World War One or a spaceship out pack. So let's say we pick you know World sure. War One. We we'll pick one of these planes. And we're playing, we actually have options we can set. We can set how many lives it takes, like one, two, three. Um, how many hits it takes for it to be destroyed. Ten, one, two, three, okay. five. Um, the size. So the size you saw before was medium. Right. You can have it be large or really oh, small. It just scales. You can have it rotate. Which, you know, if you have a flying saucer, you probably right. should be rotating. Right. So we can do is we can go and actually create enemies. And for an enemy, we can pick, let's say, let's pick our flying saucer. Mm -hmm. And we can set the size. It can be small, it can be medium, it can be large. Whether it rotates, which it should, because it's right. a flying so, saucer. Uh, how much life, how many hits it takes before it's destroyed. How many points you get. And then we're going to go to our levels. In our levels, we're actually going to create a level. Okay. So. We have a guide telling us how the level is going to look. I see. And we'll use it. Okay. And we have our image. And right. we can check the collision to make sure it actually works correctly and it works correctly. And the cool thing is we can do now is we can say, hey, let's actually place the enemies on here. And so we take our enemies and we have these guys. And let's create another one and put it here. 
And what we do now, we can set, change the pattern, and we'll put it to this guy. Okay, so what we have actually now, if we test it, a little oh, plane, wow. nice little level, and we have an obstacle we created. Oh, I see. Which we have to move around. And pretty soon, we have these guys coming, which I made them way too hard. Let's do a bullet collision on with the level. So now if we test, you can see my bullets are being stopped oh, by the level geometry. I see. And when these guys come, I'll show you for example. This is a game with an Intel comic. Oh, okay. Okay. And we have to go save these guys now. Hey, hey, let's, let's download a new game. And we can get uh, popular games, which are by uh, how, you know, how popular they are. Right. We can also see um, what games our friends have made. Uh -huh. And we can even go to a game and actually download it. And... After we play a game, let's just say... So you download it and then it just appears in your game appears, area there? Yeah, in your game area. So for example, this game, this is the... Take it, please. Mm -hmm. So we have some skull. I'll just quit. Mm -hmm. And now I can submit my skull. I see. 